it out, man. Just alchemist. The guard right don't here. pee, don't pee right here, you know what I'm saying? And don't be scared to get shitty, man. You know what I'm saying? UGTV is going down. It's good, y'all. This is Music Soul Channel right now. You are checking out Urban Grind TV. What up, man? This is Ludacris, and right now you are watching UGTV. Shannon, it's the Teflon Don Ricky Rouse. And right now you rocking with Urban Grind TV. It's going down. Flock, flock, man. Flock, bell and stall. 10, 5, 10 minutes. UGTV don't go nowhere. Yo, what's up? It's Eric Sermon, the Green Eye Bandit in Chi-Town. UGTV, you know how I do all day. Represent that. You know what time it is. Hey, Joel Santana, and right now you checking out Urban Grind TV. Dipset for life. Skull Gang forever. Slow bucks. Keep up. Ooh. What's up, it's the Patty Cake Man, and you are watching UGTV right here. It's Big Snoop Dogg, Urban Grind TV, you understand me? Urban Grind TV, Face Mob in the building. I'll let your motherfucking boy. It's Killer Cam, King Joffy, Joe, Spacey, Sparkers, and right now you watch watching Urban Grind TV, you know what it is, Big Set, you win. Yo, check it out, y'all, what's the deal? This Ray Kwan, the chef, and you doing it big right now on Urban Grind TV. What's good, Master God? You know what it is, you watching UGTV. Yo, what's up? It's DA to the Z, Urban Grind. You know what I mean? Television, keeping y'all updated. Get on the log, log in, email us, holler back. It's DA to the Z right here, Chicago, baby. The Booth Radio. Yo, welcome to the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. Y'all know me. It's the pride of the East Side DJ, MH Tudor. We got the 1,285 right. trillion time Chicago Music Award winner, Hood That's Radio right. Award winner, new Chicago Music Award nominee. Did mm -hmm. I get it all right? Journalist. You never get it right, personality. but you know what you try, buddy, God. and that's what matters. Pablo's, Pablo's <laughs> knee. <know>? Pablo's <laughs> knee. <You know? laughs> so your Escobar's in the building. <laughs> Thank you for good. having me. <laughs> oh, man. And y'all know we got the homie Wild Smash Cash in the building, man. The Squat. hardest working man in the street. Gang. My. It's good, Playboy. I, I mean, I'm here, man. You know what it is. We rocking hard. The Booth Radio. Let's get it. Man, it's going down, man. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody cool, y'all. Chicago Music Awards. That was super lit. That was dope. Did that, right? That was dope. Um, <laughs> Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine is uh, out, right? Dope. And it don't stop. Right? Industry Sundays is going down uh, at Refuge Live. Dope. That part. That, it's that just too. facts behind on uh, top March 31st. We're about to launch the second edition of the Urban Grind Lifestyle Magazine okay. at the end of the first quarter. We got some homies in the building, man. We got the homie Chad London. We're going to get in right. tune with him mm, and what he got bro. going on. Bank he rolls. Cold. He's so cold. Bank rolls. That's, That's all you got to say. You say Chad London. Right you say Chad London. You just say bank rolls immediately after. Mm. That's all. I, I agree with that. That was dope. That was hard. Look, Pound, look, bro. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow. And we got the homie D Moolah in the building as well, man. Uh -huh. Young boy out here putting in work. Y'all already know. It's the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. When we come back, let's get in tune with the homie Chad London. Let's get it. The Booth Radio. It's Hefe season. Three Kings. You know what it is. Welcome back to the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. It's the pride of the East Side DJ MH Tudor. We got my boy, man, Wild in the building, Smash Cash. Y'all already know what it Let's is. Let's get it, man. Wow, we got a special guest in the building today. Yes, sir. We got the homie. We broke his record last year on Break of the Yank It. Mm -hmm. Can't turn out to be one of my favorite joints on Break of the Yank. Okay, okay. He came through to the SAE event, killed yes, it as always. Yes, sir. And he working hard out here, man. We got the homie Chad London in the building. What's good, bro? Thank chilling, bro. chilling, man. Just, just happy to be here. You already know. Hey, you see how he did that? As soon as I say Chad London, he say bankrolls. Bro. Can't say Chad London without saying bankrolls. Bank That's what we do, man. We get to the money, man. No what doubt. What talking about, man? What's going down with you, bro? Man, I'm chilling, man. Man, just uh. Had a long night, but you know I'm up grinding. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome yeah. to the booth radio, first and foremost. First and foremost. Man. man, long time coming. It feels so good to be right here, right now with you brothers, man. Appreciate oh, we that. Appreciate man. that, man. You so know. let's start at the beginning, man. Who is Chad London for people who don't know? People who don't know Chad London. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an artist, clothing designer. You name it, I do it. Whatever it takes to get the bank rolls, man. I hear that. I'm not clothing designer. Yeah, clothing designer. That's Free Kings, man. You can uh, follow the, the brand on Instagram, Free Kings underscore. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, actually, I'm rocking some Free Kings I'm, right I'm now. I'm liking actually, the name you know? of that, though. Free yeah, Kings. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's the logo, the F FK right yeah, the there? FK is the key, yep. Uh, yeah. Free to think, free to live, man. That's the, that's the slogan, free to think, free to live. How you come up with that? Like, What, what was the uh, thought process behind the whole Free Kings clothing line movement thing? 
it was pretty much, you know what I'm saying, all the violence going on between, you know what I'm saying, African Americans, the police, African Americans, and African Americans. And I just felt like I wanted to do my part, and I love clothes, you know what I'm saying, I love fashion, so I came up with the brand, Free King, so we could start conducting ourselves as kings and queens, you know what I'm saying, royalty. That's dope. Where can people find the clothing at if they're looking for it? Man, you could DM me right now. I'm uh, actually getting a website built right now as well, so... You can follow Free Kings underscore on Instagram. You can see all the new designs, you know what I'm saying? Collaborating with uh, with uh, Artware. She actually is doing the distress for the tees and everything. Okay. Right now too. So we definitely make some power moves this year. So you do the pull-up game then? Like somebody draw like that shirt you got right there. You like, skirt! Here you go. Uh, man, I'm pulling up. I'm shipping it to you, whatever it takes. I done, I done shipped a couple shirts off to Arkansas, all type of places. I went to school in Arkansas, so anybody okay. can hit me up. I'm shooting you a t-shirt. If you in Alaska, man, I'm going to get it there. Mm. That's lit. Shout out my people in What's Alaska. What's you went man? to down in Arkansas? Oh, uh, University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff. Oh, okay. Oh, the, the big joint. Yeah. yeah. HBCU, man, 35 minutes from Little Rock, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, That's what yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Okay. Like, you play sports down there? Or you just nah, I ain't play no sports. School? Nah, I should have played sports. I, I, I was a hooper, you know what I'm saying, coming okay. up, but... In Chicago, sometimes the streets get you, but you know what I'm saying. College for college, for me, that's why I got my my uh my start in the game. You know what I'm saying? In, okay. in, a, in a music game, okay. hooked up with a few, you know what I'm saying, uh, music majors, and they put me in the, st- the studio down now. Okay, so, yeah. So that's when you start like taking it. When you start taking it serious and decided like this, is what you want to do? Yeah, it was actually in college. Like I okay. actually uh, uh, the music majors met a couple marketing majors. They was trying to start their they own indie label. I ended up getting the studio down there. Ended up uh, putting out a mixtape that got like a decent amount of buzz in the in the town that I was in. Okay. And you know, so I was just like, I was like, wow, like yeah. I could really do this. And people started telling me I was really good, so I started taking it serious. All right. Like you got any videos, anything you work on? You got you released recently? Oh yeah, I just actually dropped three videos in one month. What? Uh, shout out to my homie Fame because I've been Working. I've been putting that Working. man to work. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, if you YouTube Chad London, you'll see just in the past month I dropped three videos. I'm actually finna shoot another video on Monday. Okay. Oh, wait, what's the three you dropped? What's the three? I dropped the uh, video for uh, my song Change. Ooh. Okay. It's a video out for Change. That's going to be on the exclusive mixtape just so y'all can know right there, man. No doubt. Uh, I got a video for my joint Ever Since off the Kinglish mixtape. Okay. Okay. And uh, my joint DNA, it was actually the intro to the Kinglish mixtape. It's yeah, a video out for all three of them joints, man. We working, man. So King- Kinglish is the one that's been uh, released for a while now, right? No, I actually dropped that on Christmas Eve. Okay. Dropped okay. it on Christmas Eve, man. So it's it's, def- it's on Spinrilla, and it's on that Piff free download, man. Go get that joint, man. I'm talking about it's some heat on now. And you about to drop another one? Yeah, I'm gonna drop Half Face Season probably in a, in a, in, a, in a couple of weeks, man. I'm not playing. So you giving them something in Black History Month is what you tell them. Exactly. Got to. You, you give them. Got to, something. man. I'm gonna get them an EP. Half Face Season is gonna be a little EP. For everybody just yes, yesterday you know like Kinglish won the flaw because when people hear Kinglish, it's a dope mixtape and they I, I gotta show them like nah this is what I do okay. like this is what I do I okay. could produce many songs like that. Okay, so who's some of the producers you work with on the project? Uh, G Money, shout out to him. That's the one who produced uh Bankroll. He based oh, out in Atlanta. Point, That's like my go-to man's. Like I love dude because like it's some about his beats that bring. The best out of me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like how Future got Metro booming. Okay. That's how I look at. That's how I look at the homie G Money. I made the beat. That's how I look at him. Uh, my homie Johnny Yayo. He produced Wait, to the homie. Inga Woods on Johnny the homie. Yayo. Johnny Yayo, man. Shout out my homie, man. So yeah, we just I'm just out here working, but I'm, I'm willing to work with any producer. But you just gotta have that heat, man. Yeah, you gotta okay. have that heat, cause you know what I'm saying. I'm here to. I'm trying to make hits. I'm trying to make history. So send me some classics, man. <laughs> So what's your process like when you go in the studio? Like how you come up with what you going with, with a song and like how you put everything together? It's crazy because when I go to the studio, I strictly go to the studio to record. When I, I actually write alone in my room. I have to be like solo dolo. I put the headphones in and I just pretty much zone out. And when I go to the studio, like most engineers that ever had me in the studio, they like, man, dude, how did you come in here and one take it? It's because I sat there and I practiced everything before I even went in the studio because there was a point where I couldn't afford studio time like that. Mm. So I had to perfect what I was doing. So as you go so in, I was going there. Yeah, I done recorded five songs before in 45 minutes. Wow. And the engineer almost threw his keyboard because he like, dude, you got over on me. But I'm like, nah. 
Mm-mm. Nah, just one take everything, man. Right. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't afford it. Right. Yeah, yeah. no, you got to you lad them little dollars right exactly. there. Exactly. That's a hustler, though, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, man. So that's what, so is that how you came into doing the clothing as well? Like, which one popped for you first, like the music or the clothing? I would say the, uh, the music first and foremost. But as far as like with the clothes, the clothes is catching on now because people are starting to recognize me from the music. And okay. then they know what the clothing brand stands for okay. so it makes them want to buy to me the brand and everything i got going on if people know my history like i'm a guy who, who grew up in the streets you know what i'm saying and i actually went off to college so i'm just here like again just to inspire the uninspired so you know what i'm saying i'm one of them people like don't let your sit your current situation keep you where you at yeah mm. you know what i'm saying you can get to wherever you want to be with hard work and prayer that's dope. That's now, real dope. Now, now, with your, with your, the, you saying your base started out in Arkansas. How is that down there now? Like, you still got people down there rocking with you? You still, like, do shows down there and stuff like that? Actually, I just had some guys from Arkansas came up here a couple weeks ago, and we did a show at, uh, what's that club, Go City up north. Okay. Um, we, okay. We just was there, actually, and my homie from Lil Rock, me and him used to be in a rap group together. Okay. He the one who hit me up, was like, bro, my people coming up there. I, I told him about you. You on a show? You on a lineup? Oh, that's dope. Mm. So yeah, I definitely like shout out to uh, what's uh, Lil Rock Obama. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out oh, to him. Uh, we played his music on the show. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I definitely still got t- like real, real, real big ties still in Arkansas, man. Like again, like that's where I got my start, and I, and I love that place. You know what I'm saying? That made me who I am today. You know what I'm saying? I came out of Chicago with a whole different outlook on life because of Arkansas. Wow. That's, that's dope. What I'm talking about. You see how crazy like life works. Like D Dirt featuring Lil Rock Obama. I get a lot of their music every time they drop something. I get it. and We played it on the show. That's crazy. That's crazy. So what's next for Chad London? We know we got the mixtape coming out. We know uh, the clothing line and everything's popping. What's next for you? Right now, uh, fe- actually February 25th, I'm gonna be in Gary, Indiana, at uh, backstage on Broadway. That's my first time performing in Gary. Okay. I'm taking a 30 passenger party bus there. I huh? saw that. I and saw we finna, that. We finna we finna turn up. Like we finna go in Gary and bring your crowd with you. I'm bringing Joe. my crowd with me just to show Gary. Like man, it's all love. The Midwest, we here. And you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be down there South by Southwest too. So if y'all see me walking around, you yeah, salute me. Oh yeah, we we'll throwing out there, t-shirts man. or something, man. We're gonna be out there, Joe. You know? So yeah, make sure we get some of them free kings in the building. Got gotcha, y'all, man. Got gotcha. y'all. Yes, sir. So where can people find you at on social media? Social media on Instagram, you can follow me at Child London the number five. Facebook, Child London the number five. Twitter, London Five Child. But we here, man. Uh, okay. one, one last thing, well, one last thing for me, maybe <laughs> why I got a hundred more. No, <laughs> no uh, quick question though, like, for it's a lot always going on in Chicago. They always put the violence and the bad stuff in the, in the news. But if you can inspire somebody, if you can inspire anybody listening to you, what kind of words would you give them if, to, about facing their dreams? I would definitely tell you that you you got to believe in yourself. You got to be educated. And you got to be in tune with the higher power, whatever higher power you choose. Okay. And you can't expect things to just come to you. And don't let your current situation again dictate your future. Because I've been through a lot. And I've seen a lot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right now, for me to be here right now, it's a blessing. But at the same time, I know I put in a lot of hard work. And a lot of days and nights, I pray to get to where I'm at right now. And I let my work ethic match my dreams. Mm, that's dope. Yeah, that is dope. Five years from now, Chad London. Five years from now, Chad London, they're going to look at me as the Jay-Z of Chicago. He really did that. Mm. And I'm going to put the city on. I'm going to put a lot of artists on. And I'm going I'm to I'm I'm employ a lot of people. Like, that's that's what five, five years from now, that's where I'm going to be at. I like that. Legend. I'm trying to be up there with Pac at, with Biggie. Like, all them guys, like, they're going to put me on that pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z, my favorite artist. Man, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming for the throne. That's how I feel. I'm, I'm not in the grids with that favorite artist, but okay. I'll I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I rock with y'all on that one. <laughs> I'll rock with y'all on that See, one. See, I just looked at him like, it's the first time I ever had to look at well. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what you mean that ain't your favorite artist? I'm just saying. That's all know, good. <laughs> I, I go back. It's <laughs> all good. <laughs> look, right there. <laughs> Nah, it's all good though, bro, man. Chad, appreciate you for coming through, man. Appreciate y'all. Continue to support you and everything you do, man. And yes, sir. And look forward to the Free Kings moving in the LFA mixtape. Please, EP. when you drop that, come back. EP, my bad. I got when you. When you drop that, come back and let's let's chop it up and break the whole 
joint down, all right? Appreciate you, Chad London, DJ MH to the Wow, the Bucardio. We be right back with the homie D Moolah in the building, man. Let's get it, man. D Moolah, let's go. Yo, yo, it's Chad London. You listening to the Booth Radio, man. Check it out. Get tuned in. DJ MH Tudor for Urban Grind TV, and I'm here to tell you about the Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine. Go download it right now from UrbanGrindLifestyle.com. It's featuring articles on fashion, music, sports, culture, entertainment, and more. Also, check out my article, One Time for the DJ, featuring my homie DJ J. Illa. Urban Grind Lifestyle magazine, download that right now. Proud of the East Side DJ MH Tudor, and I'm here to tell you about my new show, The Booth Radio, on 103.7 The Beat every Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Go to the website or download the 103.7 The Beat mobile app to check us out. We are Urban Grinding. It's the pride of the East Side, DJ Mace Tudor. Yeah. This is the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. We got the homie Wild Smash Cash in the building. Let's get it! Wow, we got another guest in the building today, man. We got a very talented, very dope, very marketable. I love the, the whole style that my man brings. We got the homie D Moolah in the building. D Moolah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Yeah, he do that. He, that. he makes sure D Moolah. <laughs> nah, nah, I like that though, kid. What's, go- what's cracking, guy? Not much, man. What's going on? Man, you know, we here building, man. We, I mean, I heard your joint. It got us cracking. We was in the background like, Joe, who is that? Who yeah. is that? It yeah. made you spinning you, and then we, you was like, that'd be me. <laughs> that'd be me right there. Yeah. So yeah. you already know you got a new fan right here, Joe. So, you know? Appreciate it. Appreciate so talk about the single, man. What's the name of the single, and you know uh, how long it's been out? Uh, I The single name is D Moolah One Life, and uh, I just made it, and I just dropped it like at the beginning of this month. And right okay. now... I'm about to uh, get ready to make a video to it. Okay. Sometime this month, I should have it all done, make a video to it. Yeah, it's just about, you know, living your one life up. You know, your one life, so live it up. Absolutely. So how long you been doing music? Uh, it make a year now. I've been rapping since last year. Oh, wow. So only a year? And, and you, did you got a record like that? Yeah, yeah. I've been rapping only a year. I just started last year. Okay. So what's uh, next for you? Like I know you got the, the video and you got the the single out. Like we, should we be expecting a project soon? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm currently working on uh, a mixtape called Paper Chase. And okay. I, and I'm still deciding on what day I'm going to drop it, but uh, it should be coming real soon, real soon. So what can people expect from Paper Chase? Like you got any producers you working with or any features that you uh, could talk about? I'm currently still uh, working with a couple artists. Okay. I'm not gonna say the name yet, but shout out to my uh, producer though, Smitty Beats. That's my boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you only got one producer that you're working with directly? So far, yeah, that's my favorite producer. That's my, that's my name. Okay. Bet that. I like that. A couple of features here and there. What's your process going into making this mixtape right now? Uh, my process is, you know, just basically everything. I always just go over, double check, make sure I'm comfortable with everything. You know. Might throw a mixtape party or something. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, yeah. But the recordings, you going, you going, you and Smitty doing it. You got a special studio you at, or like uh, yeah, how that's yeah. going? I, I go to his studio, but usually I have all my music ready. So when I go in the studio, I just work and get it out the way. I won't be wasting no time, so I can get more songs made. Okay. So I usually have everything ready, so when I go in, I just get it done. 
Bet that, bet that. Any performances you got coming up right now? Anything uh, you doing? Right now, I'm currently still putting together a bunch of performances, but be expecting a lot of performances out of me. Though. Oh, I like right. that. Yeah. So what can people expect from a performance from you, though? Like, when you, when you get on that stage, like, because you're real humble right now. But but when we introduced them, you seen all the energy come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. I had, like... I wouldn't say I'm two different people, but I know how to turn it on and off. Like when okay. I get on that stage, you expect a lot of energy. Yeah. Right now, you know, I'm just humble, you know, talking. But when I'm on stage, it's like two different people. No doubt. I know how to you know how I get when them lights, camera, action get on them, bro. <laughs> they be like, wait, hold. Yeah, man. So like I was saying, Joe, you know, it was a good thing. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless y'all. Good night. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> but no, nah, I mean, like, all right, so within a year you've been doing it. What, what's what been your, 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 your the, the accolades you get? Like, people been receiving you real well, you know, like. Uh, yeah, like a lot of people actually, like, they rock with my music. That's what made me want to, they motivate me to keep going. Yeah, a lot of people, they actually, it's a lot of people behind me that push me, motivate me, go harder. So what you rapping about? Like, what, what can we hear from D. Moolah? Like, uh, I actually touch all different topics. Like, I can, I'm can, i a versatile artist. Like, okay. I'm not just in one category. I can touch all categories. That's what I'm talking about, man. You in school or anything yeah, right I'm now? Yeah, I'm in high school. I'm in junior high school. Wait, oh. what? Well, see, this, yeah. see, there we go. A junior in yeah. high school. Yeah, I admit it. Yeah, I'm in high school. So you still going to get your education? Yeah. So how, how how are you mixing them two together? Like, is them grades good? Like, nah, yeah, I'm on the honor roll, though. Oh, I'm that's good. Yeah, you know, knowledge is power. So. Absolutely. See, that's what I, now I like to hit at, man, because, yeah. like, we got to, you know, I don't want you to be coming in here like, man, look, I got the big blunts, I got the loud, and uh, school. Nigga, right, forget yeah. school. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, yeah. I put education first, though. Okay. 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 So, so how does school receiving you? Like, like I know I used to play football and just playing football, I had the girls liking me. So you Dang, rapping? You 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 yeah. school famous, Joe? Yeah, yeah. I, I I was a little bit popular in school, little, just, little, but little. I was too shy to like understand it then. Uh, okay. But like this is a new generation, like like they they super lit. Cause you see you swag yeah, down like, right now, swagged like, all the way so, up. So that's <laughs> how you be at school. You go in with the bandana sitting in class, <laughs> like. You know, uh, yeah, I do get a lot of attention in school, though, but I don't let it get the best of me. I just go in and get my job done, make sure I got my grades good and everything. And then ready for the studio. Go right back to the studio. Work. Work, actually. Yeah. I like that, kid. You in five years, where you see yourself, D. Mula, in five years? Uh, very successful young entrepreneur. Mm, okay. One word, successful. That's all. I, that's I that's. Describe. So, any other thing you see yourself doing in the in the, in the field other than just the rapping? You uh, see yeah. acting, you know, yeah, modeling, acting, modeling, any everything, any and everything. So, how can people get in tune with you then, man? Where they can find you? Uh, www. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, real underscore dmula, and also yeah, shout out to uh, Wild Hundred Records. Okay. Wow, honey, that, that's what you had in, in the double O's out there? <laughs> yeah, I got I got a lot of family everywhere. Okay. okay. So who are some of your favorite artists like that inspire you to do music? Like some of the guys that, or women, who uh, give you that inspiration to say, yo. Uh, it's this one young dude named uh, D. Mula. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nah, nah, but my biggest. I like that. Nah, that was dope, you man. Like, Yo, you, you took your name too fast. Like, well, I, I nah, 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 but. We being slow right now. An artist that really do, uh, that a big inspiration to me is Tupac. And then after Tupac, Jay-Z. Now, Them two, my favorite two. Okay, I see. But Tupac, number one, though. All right. That's my favorite artist. Yeah, I, can't, just, I can't argue with you. Just, just we're going to have to go there because right. you know, earlier you were trying to get out on me with I, I would yeah, But Hove is Hove. Okay, I just, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure y'all was, just, y'all was going there. Hove is Hove, crew. But now how you pull, how you pull a pot? Because like a lot of teenagers don't know, you exactly. know about Exactly, that was good. So. I was going to say, like, when you get in tune with Tupac. Tupac. And plus, like, I be around a lot of older people. Too. Okay. Okay. Tupac, I like him because he touched on all different topics. Like, okay. And he was actually like, I wouldn't say motivational, but like, he had a good vibe, and he actually was like, I don't know how to explain it, but like he, he he was just real, like, yeah. and he talked about real stuff. He was like, like a politician rapper. Like I, I like Tupac, though. I love Tupac. What's one of your favorite Pac songs? Uh, let me see. I, I like all of them, but let me think of one. Keep your head up. Mm. Yeah, it's one of my favorites yeah, too. Yeah. You think he's still alive? <laughs> 
don't know. <laughs> but, if hey. he, but if he is, I hope he's watching this. Word, shout, word. Out, shout out, Bog, man. You know, we ain't going to say not too much about that, man. You already know we get caught up with Country City and all that. <laughs> right. so, I'm not going to say anything. I ain't man. said that. I was just going to see if he thought he was alive. If he knew you know? anything about that, like, yeah, he be writing me like, hold on, <laughs> fam. <laughs> One but more time, where can they find you at on social media? You can media? find me on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, real underscore D Mula. It's wild in the building, Smash Cash Let's Radio. Let's go. Proud of the East Side DJ MH Twitter. D Mula, when we come back, it's Break of the Yankee. Y'all know what time it is. Let's go. It's your boy D Mula. Right now, you listen to Booth Radio. OrangeMixtapes.com. Hey, what it do? This your boy OJ the Jew, man. I want to give a shout out to EarnMixtape.com. Yeah, what's happening, man? Scott ATL in the building. Shout out to OrangeMixtapes.com. OrangeMixtapes.com. Young World, what's poppin', man? It's Rocky Diamonds. OrangeMixtapes.com. Go get your latest mixtapes, man. Yeah. OrangeMixtapes.com. We're still at it. Archive Duplication Company, where we have no setup fee, unlimited colors, and shirts as low as $3. And now you can get your own customized bling design. Visit our website today at www.archivedupe.com or call us at 708-223-4167. Get burned. Are you looking for a licensed, experienced, and reliable plumber? Finding the right plumber for your needs can be a challenge. We understand that plumbing issues are a major inconvenience. We are a full-service residential and commercial plumbing company offering 24-hour emergency service with a quick response to your call. Our services include sewer cleaning and repairs, drain stoppages, repiping, and much more. We get the job done with the highest quality from qualified professionals. We pride ourselves on customer service. Our expertise is your peace of mind for a job well done. Call us today for all your plumbing needs. The Booth Radio. Hey, yo, welcome to the Booth Radio, Urban Grind TV. It's the pride of the East Side, DJ MH Tota. Got the homie Wild in the building. What's good, bro? You good? I'm good, guy. What's cracking, man? Man, listen, man. We got a legend in the building, man. Been a fan of this guy since my teenage years. I ain't going to get my age, but I'm just going to say my what, teenage what, years. What? Yes, sir. Uh, what's man, No you? Limit Zone, man. One of the, he was one of the founding guys. I'm one of the best lyricists in the South, in my opinion. That's to, one in every family, to, you, man. You know? I was told. You know? man. We got Mr. Want One Fiend in the building. How you doing, sir? Hey, man. I'm happy to be here. You heard me? And that, that was a hell of an introduction. <laughs> and thank you. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, too, just being with the people that was enjoying me during that time of their life. No doubt. Just getting a chance to meet you guys. Just dig. It's, it's never too late, you heard me? Absolutely. Yeah, no doubt, man. It, it, so I'm happy to be here, you heard me? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? All right. Man. Man, cool. what's going on with you, man? What you what you doing up this way? Yes, sir. I'm uh I had a show uh last night at uh, Tree of Jolly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Jolly Illinois shout out to the homies out there. Shout out there about at Jolly You Illinois, know what it is, man. They, they show me massive love. Serious, serious love, you feel me? And I know I'm gonna be back real, real soon. I had a show and I also was celebrating the release of my project, Fiend First Rolex, which is available on iTunes on thatpill.com. You feel me? No doubt. Hey, that project I just we just listened to it. You got one right there, bro. Appreciate like, it, like again, one of the best lyricists in the South that I, that I, I ain't even gonna just say the South, man. I'm just gonna say in hip hop, man. Like, it. like you, you dropping jewels and you dropping bonds. What make you still put out records? Uh, I'm a, I'm addicted, man. My name fiend was that was the base of, you know, being addicted to doing something over and over and over and over again. Mm. You expecting results, you know. Um, you know, like most people smoke certain vices looking for that first high yeah. of what that reminiscent of whatever that first high is, you know what I'm saying? So I expect the results. I like the rhyme. I want to be the best of what I feel like I'll be, you know. 
I'm gonna get this car. You know, everybody got this car. I'm gonna do something to it to make it so unique and so fresh. You know, I'm addicted to my own little pet peeves. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. When I do it, I go all out for it. So that's what my name was, and as I was high um, high school hallways, you know, battling in the hallways. You know, they doing 16 bars. I'm doing 40. Mm, you know no saying? doubt. Yeah. You know, so yeah, and it just grew to everyday hustle of uh, you know want to take care of my family. You know, want to be a better person. And always still wanting to be a, a better MC, the best MC I can be. Okay. So let's take us. Well, oh, my bad. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You take us up back on like a little journey on the highway. That's why like I was the, going the, with the that first introduction. Like, how did you and P and, and No Limit? How did that all come about? Pretty much. Um, it was kind of through, man. Cause see, um, I got a partner, right? I got how I met Master P, guy with the No Limit, um, records. The you know the the. The brand that gave birth to my career, right? On a whole another status, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, P. Miller, his brothers, his label had a concert in a in a spot that's closed down in New Orleans, called River Boy Island. Okay. okay. All right. They had a concert. P. had a table selling his merchandise, CDs, cassettes, mm -hmm. T-shirts, and stuff. So my partner Damon was like, "Man, come on with this concert, bro. You know it's gonna be Master P." I said, who is that, man? He's like, <laughs> it's, I'm fucking with a doggy P from here, but he know he be on the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? All right. So I'm up in there checking shit out. I knew Mia X, so when Mia got on stage, I'm like, damn, you know Mia, I've been performing with these dudes. She must be with him, you dig? I go to the front, P behind the table. I bought a CD from him, Mia X, and uh, probably his CD, um, like 1-900 or something. I forget, you know what I mean? I hate to be in the Bible, but it's like, when he landed the bed and the chick leaning on him. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. His name eight ball or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I bought that, you hear me? And I bought her from him, you dig? And I was that's my first encounter with him. Okay. You dig? So um years later, um Mia of course still working with him, you know, can't able to work with him, can't want to work with him. You know, we crossed paths. Mia wanted me and Mac to be on the album, um, you know, showing light on us or the next wave of New Orleans and um Can't Enable, we were already friends doing business with their investors. Okay. Next thing, no care, bro. I'm up there a couple times, and it was over. You know, I, I got up there. You know, P wasn't really into you know meeting new people, doing new deals because he had everything he needed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what I'm saying for a person who been through whatever he been through his life. You know, what I'm saying. So it was kind of odd, but it was cool. But him and Kel bump heads. Yeah, man, who this is you brought over to my studio? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm in the next room. Like, right. it's like y'all green room. I'm like, right. man, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, now I got a kid in trouble. Right. Damn, like, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. I feel, you know, I'm sitting up there, like, feeling bad. Right, right. I know it may be opportunity, but y'all don't want to throw your home in there. Right, right. right. You know, and, and I remember a kid coming up, up in the room, like, maybe, you know, five, ten minutes later, and he was like, uh, nah, it's all good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it's all good. I told him, um, in so many words, he he told me, I told him, we need you, bro. We, we, need, we need to work with him. We need, right. we need him. You hear me? And to this day, I'm grateful for them people allowing me into their light, sharing their light with me. You know? Okay. That's what got me. No Limit Records, um, Master P, the C Murder, still the shocker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and X, you know what I'm saying? Big Ed, you know? You, you still keep in contact with Mac? Not as much as I would like to, man. Okay. Not as much as I would like to. Okay. I talked to him one time and it kind of spoiled me, bro. Like, as you know, just your people. Yeah. You, know, you got people that you really, really fuck with, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, y'all run it every day, you know? You had, you yeah, know, yeah. These guys, you take over a city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I was talking to him, like, about a couple months ago, man, maybe two months ago. And the dude was talking to me, dog, like he's at a fucking barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, come on, man, shit, man. Right. I'm like, man, man, you stupid as a motherfucker. And for a minute, I forgot. Yeah. And, 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 you know, we got off the phone and it hit me and I was like, I've always felt a small type of horrible about myself. I don't really share that with people, you know what I'm saying? But I just wish something I could do. Right? Okay. I wish there's something I could do. That's the only thing that ever I felt of being a person in the music business that I felt that I wish I had this um, uh, a factual answer on how to un, un wrong that. Okay. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I just, I just, I, you know what I mean? I just feel like I'll be swinging at air, but I know better. Right. You yeah. Know what I'm right, right. And I'm, I'm, you know, man, it's just so messed up, bro. This dude, bro, Mac, you know what I'm saying? McKinnon Phipps, Corey Miller, see murder a lot of these dudes. Yes, yes, sir. The world, these kids, you know what I'm saying? See murder gave me my tank once I, you know, I guess met a trial basis to know if I was worthy to meet the criteria to continue to work with No Limit Records, you know, being a, a, a new, newest, uh, a newest brother around, a new okay. employee, I have a brother around, mm-hmm. right, right, right. you know what I'm saying? I never forget to do peek around the corner like this here. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. shooting dice, fucking with somebody. He peeked around the corner like this here. Yeah. He like come here, and he was in the, like the little uh, the little kitchen area, that microwave cabinets, and little mm-hmm. office. And he dropped the chain, and the tank fell on the little fucking chain. Uh huh. And he was like, smile. He was happy. <laughs> I can see he happy. See, he was happy, bro. <laughs> see, he was just, you know, just laughing, smiling, like, here, bro. You know, you, you got your tank. You're a man. Get your tank. I like, huh, bro? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, that was wild, <laughs> son. Okay. Yeah. That's why, I, that's that, uh, bro. You hear me? To be a part of something mm-hmm. and to mean something and to mean something to people and to still mean something. Yeah. Is, yep. You know, it's unexplainable, dude. So, for whoever's watching this thing, you, you know what I'm saying, for allowing me in your life and um, not shutting me out, you did, because it's therapeutic for me, too. You know, I touch a city and get open arms instead of, you know, cold stairs and, you know, and, 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 you know fuckery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I, I respect you, you know, like you respect me in this love. All right. Let's fast forward a little bit. But a lot of people probably don't know about you is that you write for a lot of the people. And you wrote for Twister, and you've been um, nominated for Grammys for writing with Lil Wayne and stuff like that. Like, can you get a little bit about that? For the record. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it. I don't mean like you wrote <laughs> lyrics. Now, let's clean that up. <laughs> no, no, I just want to say for the record. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to say this, and I, I hope all seven billion people on this earth here hit to see this, right? People that I work with, do music with, you know, some of the names that he named, maybe other people as well. Like, um, no disrespect, I I don't even look at it like Ghost Rock. Uh-huh. I feel like, you know, I'm collabing with somebody I respect. Okay. I want to see you win. Absolutely. So I may know the pulse of the people at the moment, at this time in my life whatever that year is mm-hmm. so I can assist you with vibing to the pulse of the people you know what I mean yeah and you know so you know writing would be like you know you writing the entire record for somebody which I do that too mm-hmm. you know? but you know to go back to being able to wear this sword on my hip this pen in my pocket respectfully I'm not gonna mention things <laughs> mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna say that's how I look at collabs you know what I'm saying no doubt I, yeah I, I appreciate bringing it up a lot of people don't know that I ghost right and I mm-hmm. love the right you dig so um, you know if you need to build and want to make records that make people feel something you know I'm your guy you know that's that's what I do my right. dad told me I was blessed with um, three three gifts and curses you know so it's like six <laughs> it's a good thing. I can make out a star out of anybody. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean it bragging, meaning like I could see, I will see light in the darkest places. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that alone is strength. And on top of that, I write and I produce. Okay. So okay. I'm kind of doing it for feelings, for, for, for ups, downs. Um, great moments, horrible moments. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of doing of a vibration that can create people to do things. Okay. Yeah, you dig? So yeah, no doubt. I know I went. No, that's ill. That's ill. Uh, <laughs> I just want to share that with y'all. You're, you're, we're back though. <laughs> no, we like that, man. Yeah. We like we like building off that. And for the record, you don't have to assume we all lit. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, don't even assume. Absolutely. Don't even assume. Don't assume. Like, man, dude, kind of deep. I was not only deep, but I was lit. Absolutely. Get deep. <laughs> 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 no doubt. <laughs> All right. Now I got a question. Now, yeah. the, your grand from when you put out 
there's one in every family. So right now we're first Rolex. Is the grind still the same? What's your approach to um, you you dropping that? Now I know that's an album. This considered a mixtape, but people putting the same grind into a mixtape they doing yeah. an album. Now yeah. As well. mm -hmm. So is this the same approach? Yeah. No. Okay. You eat what you kill. Mm. That was hard. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> It might be 20, you know, maybe 15 of us. Okay, you know, he could uh, knock off an antelope, and, you know, maybe eight of us can eat comfortably. Maybe 10, right? right? Mm -hmm. But now, today, more than ever, is you eat what you kill. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So I'm 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 going to knock their block off if, it's, if I got one shot. Mm -hmm. And I hope that I represent you to be there or want to be there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't about me holding my dick like, yeah, you know, fucker. Yeah, I'm just that nigga. You dig me? I, I, shit, I just own my light, and I want us to win. Yeah. I ain't selfish. I ain't saying you ain't got it. Right. I'm just saying I know what I got. I know. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm hoping to help somebody turn some switches on in them and turn up mm. and go get it. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at. You know what I mean? That's why I'm at, and I'm owning up to it. I don't know if there are other artists out there like that, other producers, executives, but that's why I'm at. I'm on a million dollar mission. I want to create the science of finance for my people so they can get it. Learn the terms and know that it's all right. You post the ball. Right. No right. doubt. You post the ball. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Pass the ball and you gonna ball. Mm -hmm. and that's why I'm at. You hear me? I ain't saying it's gonna take rocket science, but this is gonna take communication. Pretty much. So, yeah, I'm putting it through the music. First Rolex. I'm giving I'm giving you I'm giving you an opportunity to see how I did something. My attitude. Okay. That's like cheating. David Copperfield don't tell motherfuckers yeah. how he make the statue of limits. Facts. Nigga be out of job. Nigga be out of job. Facts. <laughs> You heard me? You heard me? But I feel like I got shit because it's supposed to be each one teach one. Okay. I'm not about to act like Tupac didn't exist. Mm. Right. You heard me? Yeah. He was saying some shit too, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. We all get mad and do shit. Right. Smart shit, dumb shit, cool shit, fuck shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Just right. own up to it. That's where I'm at right now. I don't want to necessarily, you know, God, I don't want to see you going. Let's talk about it, bro. We met. Absolutely. Let's, now let's get this fucking money, son. Let's pull our resources together and let's, let's make some waves, you know what I mean? That's what I want to do right now. That's gangster me. Absolutely. That's gangster. Woo. Speaking of that, you got your hands on everything, right? Like, you just got the clothing line and everything. Talk about a little bit about the clothing line, man. Um, Sleepy Bear. Sleepy Bear T. I just want to offer an alternative, you know, for cool. Yeah. I feel like I'm fat boy fresh in my own life. <laughs> so I, you know, I share that for other kids that's my size, other men that's my size, other hip hop enthusiasts that's my size, or smaller or bigger that might don't know the wave or what it would bring it, you dig? Yeah. They're cool as fuck. They know they're cool as fuck, but they people might think of baby corny and shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna help out. You know, I might get some compliments on my shit, so that's enough. You know, over 100 people, uh, out of 120 people say, oh, I like that. Well, guess what? That might motherfucking work. They right. like it. Yeah, right. right. So yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying that. That's what I'm doing with Sleepy Bear. You know what I mean? I'm feeling a void for cool shit. <laughs> That's dope, man. And it's and it's, it's much needed. So, is it in any affiliation with skateboarding with that, though? Yeah, yeah, skateboarding. Me How'd that come about? And what, like, what's your uh, thing with skateboarding? I, I, I used to skateboard as a kid in Holly Grove. Okay. Uh, a lot of dudes probably didn't see uh, me uh, being pulled by my black Labrador. Let her pull me on a skateboard like okay. a fucking mm -hmm. chariot. Okay. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> Riding the car. I, I feel you. I had imagination back then. You know? Hey, man. <laughs> I, 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 like, I, like, I like the honesty because that shows individuality. Absolutely. Like, and it can show brotherhood mm -hmm. and congregate. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I remember that. You know, coming out uh, my dad's, my mom's house and having my skateboard, and I can eat the skateboard, I can foot it myself, you know, mm. get a little exercise, right, you know, go on these little four blocks, or I could get um, Midnight to pull me up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I remember people used to be like, Rick, Rick, what's up? 
That nigga got a dog food in my face. <laughs> like, damn. I should have thought of that shit. Right? <laughs> it looked cool. She will stop when I wanted to stop out. She loves to get bored and slow down with her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, no doubt. But then I learned a little few tricks. So, you know, I fucked with it. They just probably, I never just saw a whole bunch of kids. Um, I guess my color or um, from an upbringing or, or a... Uh, to, um, the fabric of from where I'm from since the 60s and 70s type shit. You know what I'm saying? You see mm-hmm. that kid in the big afro, the small tank top. Hey, you going to the store right quick? You know what I'm saying? Right. That type of shit holding this little skateboard. So I want to I wanna just shed light on that. I toured with Currency for like the last six years, and I saw all these different diverse people, these these cool people, these beautiful individuals, all these different dope ethnicities of people that came together to smoke pot and chill and build, make money and share ideas and be an incubator and be fucking great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's no it. Doubt. It didn't seem yeah. complicated. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And like I've the, been to his show. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I was I used to tell him that he used to be tripping. Uh-huh. He used to be looking at me, looking at what I've done, what I've accomplished, looking at him saying, bro, this is so fucking cool, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. so fucking cool, <laughs> dog. Man, your fan base the shit, dog. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. He used to be like, Man, go ahead with that. Right. <laughs> right. So jet life, man. Like, I'm glad you got into that because I was gonna ask you, like, what, what's the, how did you link up with Spitter and, and what's the relationship now? Like, when the next tour and all that good stuff. You know what? He he has been self selfless to build with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And um, I can tell you, I'm grateful for his friendship. His brotherhood and his artistry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he constantly showed me things here and there. And I think I'd be literally overwhelmed so I want to teach me something. You know yeah, yeah. I think that's what it be, man. Like, I don't really mean nothing. I'm, I'm an artist, so I might emphasize on shit. You might be like, come on, dog, turn it down a little bit. You know <laughs> but I look at it like, I'd be so tripped out that somebody could teach me something. I'll be lit. I'll be, I'll be wide open. Like, what? Real? Right. Show me that shit again. So I click the mouse and it take you well. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Type of shit. Not that, I ain't saying like I'm old. Nah, I got you. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, to know that, you know, the Twitter, the IG, you know, the Snapchat. You know, I put my dog on the um, Periscope. Okay. okay. He was like, how the fuck I ain't know about Periscope? Right. He like, so what's someone get to the bottom of this right now? Where my right. phone's at? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Call yeah. the Royal Army. You know what I'm saying? We need to talk about this shit. Right. We need to have a discussion. Where right. are you at? The Royal Court. You know what I'm saying? And I would laugh about ass off. Like, that's what it feel like. Yeah. When you're supposed to be on some shit. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I look at, like, Jet Life, the career of that, that fan base, the, the fabric of that. And I created the International Jones brand off of being around other like-minded individuals that I share that type of texture and fabric of representation of this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. Not, I'm, I'm not one-sided. You know, the kid was in the ghetto, but he was smart. Right. But, you know, he may he may throw his motherfucking hands at your ass. Yeah. And you gonna catch it. Right. Yeah. You might look at it like, damn, I ain't even think you know, little fat ass. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you hear me? And, you know, we all look like what we look like. We can't help that. Yeah. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You can't help that. Uh-huh. How you get help is how you express yourself of you. Yep. And that's how they're going to know who you are, regardless of what your exterior is. So that, that's what I liked about the Jet Life shit. I know about the hard body street shit I was doing in No Limit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, come 2010, I got married, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And two months, oh, that's something that's joyous. And, Congratulations, yes. man. You know Congratulations. I mean? Thank you, right, right. no doubt. You heard me? And uh, late after September, my father died. Wow. Okay. In November, November 18th, you dig? And it, and it made, it just drew me. And um, it made me embrace being everything mm-hmm. instead of just thinking you just one way with things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love all people. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I want to say, you know, energy matters. Definitely. I wanna Definitely. I want to say spirituality matters. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want to say morals matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Man, that's deep, Friendships right? matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take it to another Honesty level. matters. You know what I mean? I'm with you. I'm with, man, life is good versus evil. Definitely. Yeah. The color shit, that's just a distraction. Yeah. yeah. 
It's good versus evil, good versus bad, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, so I just enjoyed that. I got a break from walking in places that I had to get patted down and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got motherfucking metal detectors at the door and shit, which is all love, you dig? I mean, we rock how we rocking. Yeah. It made me appreciate all things. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I love that about my career. So you got Fiend for, from with the fabric of what we did, and you have International Jones, you know what I'm saying? The, the kid that keep... A passport on him because you don't know when he might dip out the country. Yeah. That's what I did with that though. I didn't sit and hope and find myself. I didn't give hate and misery the value of my happiness. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so trying in your life, like losing a job, losing a girlfriend, mm-hmm. your fucking engine going out of your car, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mortgage rent and, uh, fucking late. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I didn't let the misery take over my um my happiness. Yeah. I went overseas uh, with some brothers of mine, man, Spitter, Musa, Corner Boy. I just the cannabis cut with them dudes. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my dad, man. No doubt. Yeah. Sparked up for him and I, I said I was gonna bring in music that made me celebrate instead of just being in the slump and, and, and give into this misery. Yeah. And being upset and, and, and just depressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I did tennis shoes and tuxedos. Yes. You know, and, and, and gave the bird to some new cool. You know yeah. And, yeah. I was long winded about it, but nah, I just had to share it with you now. Nah. All right. You hear me? So we could talk about it. You know what I mean? Tell them the next time we might get together to be all this type of cool. Right. Right. You know? No doubt. No, give it to us when we, when we together. That's yeah, what yeah. we like, man. Yeah. And, and it's a legend, so of course we want the we yeah, want yeah. we want your version of everything, man. Yeah. So first Rolex, the title, how did that come about? Motivation, man. Motivation. Just first Rolex. You know, when I got my first Rolex, I was on No Limit Records. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, I was just working. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't know I was could work to get myself a trinket of the value of something that could show my hard work and my ethic. Hard, you know, my, my work ethic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's motivation. That's like telling, you know, you know, look, Joy, you know, no leaves on that lawn. Like a garage kept up. You got 200 hours coming, you ain't come for out. Yeah. I just want to motivate you. Okay? Uh-huh. I just want to motivate you. I feel like I'm, I know what I felt like when I got it. I got the chance to see life for what it is. I got to see people who love me. I got to see people that love me that love to rob me. I got a chance to see just people who don't know me they love me. I got a chance to see people who could be intrigued off of a business tool to spark up conversation for bigger business. Mm-hmm. I, I, I just want to share that. I just want to motivate you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I, if I could give you that. I probably can't give you a Rolex without hurting myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you feel me? But I could give you, I could teach you how to fish. Yeah. And we can go from there. So that's what I gave you. Um, first Rolex, Jet Life, Iron Gang, you know, JLI. You feel me? FD. I hosted a mixtape called The Gruesome Twosome Project with this group called Chaz Up, and you were a feature on that record, New Jays. Tell me how that um, record came about. For sure. New Jays. I remember that joint, man. Um, I got with the twins on that joint, and I probably got a haircut that day. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, we just knocked out a show, I believe, on a Jet Life tour or a Smokers Club tour. Uh, shout out to our man, um, Shipes, Smoke Desert, our whole family, Crip, uh, Sign, Dutch, you know. mm-hmm. Joy Badass, the whole Pereira fam. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, it just happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just happened. You know, wait. Absolutely. Wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, so, being in Chicago, is there any spot you've been to eat, man? And you know what I mean? You're going to eat, you're looking forward to eat, man, you know? Yeah, every time I come here, first of all, I'm looking for McGonagall's. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then, you know, on top of seeing some real cool players there with the uh, 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 lady support team. Uh, <laughs> shout out to West Side, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, hey, I like how you put that, right? <laughs> yeah, I get a chance to dig, get, get some good eats. And then, um, you know, enjoy the surrounding of being around, like, family gun people. Then I get a chance to go across the street and um, go to um, Max. 
records and tapes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Copy some CDs, you dig? Okay. Yeah. So I like that. I like these rituals I do when I come here, you know, these everyday something, good habits I created when I come to Chicago, you dig? So, oh, don't oh, forget Uncle Remus. Okay. Chicken. And what's the other joint? Harold's. You do, Harold's. So you, right, you, you do here. the chicken joints, man. So we got to ask you. Water wet. Uh, we we, we got to ask him. I, we got to ask him. I'm not going to choose. Uh, I, I, I don't think I determined it for myself to own the right to tell you about y'all chicken. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it funky. I'm not going to front like, yeah, man, well, you know. Nah, uh, really I mean, y'all come, you come from some good chicken. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 they're yeah, the original Popeye. Hey, but y'all got too much. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I mean, yeah. Y'all got sauce. Where can everybody all the social media? And where can they find the first Rolex out right now? Hey, y'all, uh, no doubt, man. First of all, I appreciate y'all having me. No doubt. You know no doubt. Y'all make a time for this. I appreciate everybody here for this year. Um, I got a new project. My name Fiend F I E N D. The project is called First Rolex. You can get it at thatpiff.com. It's right next to Fresh Montana shit. <laughs> Mac and cheese, folks. Shout yep. out to friends. I'm, just, I'm just directing you. I All right. You know I'm, I'm with you. Right, yeah. Dude. Right. And um, you dig, download that shit, man. Featuring you dig my brother, Corner Boy P, my brother, Spitter. Currency is Spitter, my brother, J. Jones, my brother, D. Lo Diamond, man. D. Lo Diamond, man. He got rid of the W. And uh, hit me up, you dig, on Instagram. My IG is 504 Fiend. All right. The numbers 504 Fiend. 50, excuse me. <laughs> we say oh for zero. I don't know what happened. I don't know when it made it official, but that shit lost. Right. You try to tell a motherfucker when you had at home in New Orleans, you talk about you at fucking eighteen zero seven. They might take a minute. Right. Yeah. You, you tell a motherfucker you're eighteen oh seven. Right. Right. But then out there now. Nah. <laughs> yeah, hit me up five oh four fiend on IG, Snapchat fiend. Womp, 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 womp. Real W H O M P W H O M P. Uh, Twitter is fiend for the money. F I E N D the number four. D A money. You dig? So uh, yeah, y'all like me, you dig? If you're on Facebook, it's just Richard Jones. You know, fuck with me. New project, first Rolex. It's for us, man. Just a piece of motivation. Shane, you some good days, some bad days. On like, it's, it's all good. Just, just, just keep swinging, baby. Just keep swinging. <laughs> uh, no doubt, you dig. Make sure you get you some yeah, yeah. Man, please get you some yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you got a fire deep dish piece in Chicago, you you can now call that the yeah with the yeah. The yeah with the yeah. They got the mean Italian sausages at this spot. You can't help but get it from over there. They got the yeah with the yeah. No yeah. doubt. Proud of the East Side DJ MH to the homie Wild in the building. Squad. Again, salute to the homie Fiend, Mr. Wow. International Jones, man. We appreciate you being on the show. Yes, sir. First Rolex. First Rolex. I hope you all get the feeling to have your first something you put your hard work to. You did. Let's go. It's the Booth Radio on Urban Grind TV. We out. You're now listening to the Booth Radio. Live and it's your big homie, y'all fiend for the money. F-I-E-N-D. Shout it. Yeah. Urban Grind TV. You. Yeah.